Here we are again. My name is Thomas. This is the solution to exercise sheet number 5 of group theory. Here is how it's structured. In exercise number 1 we look at the Euler rotation representation and the use of the Cayley hamilton theorem which makes it easier uh, to deduce a structure in the uh, Taylor series expansion we already encountered in exercise sheet number 4. I will refer to this result in exercise number 2 when we look at how the SO3 uh, irreducible representations, namely d0, d1 and d2, how they decompose in the presence of C3v and C4v symmetry. This is kind of difficult and I would really recommend you to watch it, especially the video on C3v where I go a little more thorough on the calculations because the C3v calculations are again a little harder than the C4v calculations. We use the basis functions, again if you have no idea what what uh, what you should do from the exercise sheet here is a little hint, you can go back and try it by yourself. Look at the basis functions of these three irreducible representations and look how the basis functions transform with uh, the group operations of these two groups. And then you can deduce uh, a matrix and look at the characters and so on and then it then it goes by itself but you need the idea of looking at the basis functions of these three irreducible representations and those are given in the lecture notes. And the last exercise and I really recommend you to watch them in this order is to look at the character table of C infinity V. Uh, we already did the character table of C infinity and you should be familiar with that because I go uh, fast paced on the first part and then I will distribute the basis functions of these three guys over here in the irreducible representations of C infinity V. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions, if I was too fast on anything, please send me an email. I'll be glad to hear your comments.